guys, welcome back to my channel if you've not been here before, well no, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and if you haven't, hello, I'm Jodie, um, if you can't really tell from my YouTube username, um, so yeah, basically today I thought I'd do something different, basically I picked up these um, masks at Primark and I thought I would test them out to see what they're like. I love watching all kinds of like testing videos. I would love to do like a testing makeup video but I can't afford to buy that much makeup so we're gonna go with testing the Primark masks. So there's different types of masks and they're not like usual like I suppose you know you can get like these kind of face masks. I do these all the time and I do the hair masks with these too and I just love them. It's just more than anything, a de-stressor, not even just for my skin or my hair. I just love it as like a kind of relaxed evening. But I picked up these um, three ones from Primark, um, which are kind of like the sheets. So like the masks that are sheets. And I know they've been like really popular on Instagram and things like that recently. So I thought I would test out the Primark ones because the actual sheet ones you can get can be really expensive. So I thought I'd give these ones a try and then I guess review it. So I'm gonna be trying each product like one day this week cause I'm not gonna full out go out and waste them cause I wanna do them as a de-stressor as well but I guess I'll just film little bits of it and my review. So I guess in little clips I'll be me with no makeup on, me with like just testing out in different situations. So I just thought I'd do a little intro now. Um, but I'll explain what I got first. I'm sorry about my nails, I needed to repaint them but I don't really have time. Um, so the first one is this one here. So again, this was from Primark and this was £3 um, and it's called the Holla and Glow Mask and I got the unicorn one so they've all got prints on. Um, as you can see here, I don't know if that's going to focus but they have all got prints on so this one I chose the unicorn print and it's meant to be the illuminating printed sheet mask for your face. So on the back it just says that you have to leave it on for 15 minutes. It says, beam like, uni beam like a unicorn with this hydrating and toning blend with lotus flower extract, bamboo water and vitamin B5. I love the fact that it had vitamins in it. I don't know why, just that really appealed to me. Um, it says, instructions for use. Apply to a clean skin, remove the mask from the sachet and gently unfold. Carefully place the mask over the face, ensuring even contact with skin. After 15 minutes, remove the mask and use the tissue to wipe off any excess liquid. So I'll be testing this out this week and I'll let you know what I think of this one. I think it'll be quite funny actually. The next one I got is um, from the same range and this again was £3. It's called the Holla and Glow one and I got a unicorn one too just because I wanted them to be like matching. Um, so this one is a hair mask and it's like a cap. So this is the hydrating hair sheet mask for dry hair. So it goes over like a cap, obviously, in the picture. And this one, again, you leave on for 15 minutes. It says, give your mane the glow treatment with this incredible hair mask, formulated with a blend of nutrient-rich nutrient oils and botanical extracts. The cap works to insulate and heat the conditioning essence, penetrating deep into your hair follicles. The results, smooth, shiny, healthy looks for up to seven days. So that would be amazing if it does last seven days. And this one has extracts of argan oil in it. Um, so the instructions for use is like a whole paragraph. So I'm not going to read all of it, but basically it says, After shampooing your hair, towel dry, open the hair mask and pop it on like a hat, ensuring all your hair is covered. Fasten with the tab, gently massage. This allows the hair and scalp to fully absorb the product. Keep the mask on for 15 to 20 minutes, then rinse off with warm water and follow it with conditioner. So this will probably be quite a lengthy process because you have to obviously wash your hair first, then do this for 15 minutes, massage it in and then condition. So um, that probably will take quite a while, but we'll see. We'll see what it looks like anyways. I'm going to look crazy wearing these things, but you know, it's part of the testing process. And the last one I got also from the Holler and Glow range from Primark was four pound. Now this is a sock mask and it says it's the new way for feet. So I don't know how I feel about this, but I have like really, I don't know if this is too much information, but I get like dry skin on my feet. I think like most people do. And I was like, well, let me just try it out, see if it actually does work. So it's called the Perfect Peddy. And it says, this one by the way is like a leopard print print because they didn't do the unicorn print in this one. Um, it says transforming intensive foot peel, magically removes and soothes something and rough skin i don't know what that word is it says calluses i don't know what that means maybe that's a word maybe i'm saying it wrong it says it contains alpha hydro hydroxide acids and use only as directed so this one sounds a bit more scarier um 
So basically it says, it kicks out dryness and rough skin with soybean seed extract, Camila, I can't even read half of these things, basically rosemary, rosemary and some other plant things. And this one you actually leave on for 60 to 90 minutes. So this one's a pretty long one. So I'm hoping if I actually leave it on for that long, it's actually going to do something. Like, because I'm probably going to have to have like my feet up in the air. So, you know, let's hope it actually works. Um, but this one says, instructions for use. Clean, cleanse and dry feet. Remove the foot mask from the sachet and gently unfold. Slide your foot into the slippers between the fabric layers, ensuring even contact with the skin. Peel off the tab and secure the slippers. Basically, it's like the face masks and the hair masks, but it says a dead skin will start to peel away gradually within seven to ten days. I don't know how I feel about that. Like it's going to start to peel away. It's a bit grim, but you know, got to try what you got to try. Um, and it says resist applying moisturising cream within this time, which is going to be hard for me because I use a gradual tan moisturiser. Um, so with this one, what I'll do then is I will obviously do this, but then I will wait seven to ten days and like give you a feedback review of actually if it's done anything because obviously this one isn't meant to work straight away. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd introduce my little review products. Um, I don't know if you guys will be interested in this at all because I haven't really done review products on my channel before, but here I am trying it out. It might be a complete fail, but we'll see, we'll see. So um, that's me introducing the video. And in the next clip, hopefully you'll see me reviewing them or trying them at least so yeah bye <laughs> hey guys apologize for my well i apologize for my voice and my appearance i'm currently ill but i thought what better time to try out my face mask to make me feel a little bit better so yeah that's why i sound like this but i'm just going to try this out so i explained it in the first clip what it is but basically this is the fa face mask and it's meant to have like vitamins in and things like that and um, basically it's from Primark and you just place it over your face for 15 minutes. It says on the instructions apply to clean skin. So I'm basically just going to give my face a wash just with water um, and then like dry it like that like with a towel and then I am going to put this on. So it says afterwards remove the mask from the sachet and gently unfold. Place the mask evenly over the skin and leave for 15 minutes. So I'm just going to try this out now and I'll let you know how it goes. Actually wet my skin now. I've got my mask here. I'm gonna try it on. By wetting my skin, I mean cleaning it and then obviously just like towel drying it. So this is what it looks like. It actually does have the little unicorns on it. I'm sorry if I'm squinting. I'm really blind without my glasses. We'll see how it fits over my face. Oh, I've never done one of these before, and I've literally always wanted. To, I'm gonna look crazy. I'm just gonna look in the mirror while I do it. Oh, it smells really nice. Oh, I love it. Okay, I look a bit crazy, I know. I'm just going to set my timer, but I need to wipe my hands first because they're a little bit sticky. Okay, so I'm just setting my timer to 15 minutes. Um, initial impressions is it fits on my face better than I thought it would just because I do have quite a small face so I know it does look quite big on me actually but I expected it to be even bigger than this so that's quite good it's very liquidy like very wet so like I would wear something you don't really care about like I've got on this old t-shirt just because it may drip it's not dripping but it is really wet I love that the pattern is actually kind of funky and cool it sticks to your face really well everywhere apart from the chin but I think it's because I'm talking um and it smells lovely I I can't really get like I guess it's like a fresh kind of smell but like a little bit blossomy I suppose um so that's my first impressions we'll leave it on for 15 minutes and see what I think so yeah so far I'm loving it it's fun even though I look crazy as hell so yeah I'll try and stop this so quick update five minutes in you can kind of see the areas it's stuck to because the you can see the liquid on the face where it's stuck and then obviously the areas it hasn't stuck to as well it's still not really sticking to my chin um but yeah like i said you can just see the areas it's stuck to so i feel like these are the areas that will have the most impact if it does have an impact 
I look crazy, I know, but yeah. Lol, I've got myself a little snack though while I'm waiting. I've still got six minutes left, so we'll see. Okay, so it's time to take it off in a second. Um, it's still quite a wet, the mask. Like, it feels like you could reuse it. Not that you would want to, because it probably has disgusting skin cells on the back of it. But yeah, the timer is just about to go off now. Yay! Um, so, yeah, next step says to remove the mask. So, I feel like it hasn't stuck well in a lot of places, but it's been fun. So, comes off super easy. And like, on the back, there's no like evidence of skin stuff because it's not that kind of mask, but the back just looks like that. And then I, I didn't get to show you because I put it straight on, but the front looks like this. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna take that off. The next step is to remove any excess liquid on your face with tissues. So I've just got this box of tissues here with me. Yes. And I'm just gonna go around and take off any excess liquid just by dabbing it. I kind of actually feel like my face needs a wash now, just with water, just like a rinse. Um, it just feels like it needs it. It feels a little bit sticky. Like, not hugely, but just a little bit. Um, I don't know what's actually done for my skin in terms of short term and right now seeing results. But I'll let you know long term if it does, like, have any other results. But I do think it's quite expensive for £3, but it was so fun at the same time. So, you know, like, I wouldn't do it all the time, but it was fun for this once to try it out. So yeah, that's all the extra liquid removed. And this is my face. So yeah, we'll see. That was first impressions whilst doing it. I will review it. I'll come back to you in like a couple of days and see if there's any difference or anything. I feel like it's done, but my face pretty much feels the same, not gonna lie. Hey guys, so today I thought I would try out another of these masks. I'm sorry about the messy background and my appearance, but that's life. I also want to apologise that this video is probably the next video that will be up on my YouTube channel and right now it's been like a month since I uploaded probably but I've been so ill I don't know if you can still tell in my voice but um, that is why I literally couldn't speak for two weeks because my voice was just gone I don't even know why um, so I'm sorry about that but I didn't really have anything I couldn't film because I couldn't talk so yeah anyways um, I'm trying out this foot one now so again, I will have shown you this in a previous clip, but I'll just quickly go for it. So this is the Holler and Glow from Primark. Perfect Peddy Transforming Intense Foot Peel. Magically removes and soothes calluses. I don't know if that's how you say it. And rough skin. So basically, this one takes a while. So this one has, it says it's an exfoliating sheet sock. And it kicks out dryness and rough skin with soybeans and loads of other random stuff like rosemary leaf and different types of acids. Obviously not bad acids, but you know. Wow, that lighting has just come right in my face as I'm filming. That's so inconvenient. Wait, if, if I sit there, is that a bit better? Yeah, I'm sorry for the background. This is my uni stuff, which I need to unpack. And so I've just put it on the sofa and it's a mess. So that is why that is like that, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, it says to leave on, leave on for 60 to 90 minutes. So it says to cleanse and dry feet, remove the mask, slide onto your foot, and into the slippers. I don't know if I can put my feet on the ground when I've got it on. And then when it's done, I have to remove it and wash my hands. Apparently dead skin will peel away gradually within seven to 10 days. So, and it says not to apply moisturizer in that time. So anyways, I'm gonna put this on now and I'll obviously show you the process and then I'll update you in a week or so and see if it's actually done anything but it's going to be a bit gross to show you my feet so I'm not going to actually show you me putting it on I'll show you after it's on just because you know not many people like feet so yeah this lighting like can you not <laughs> so before I put the foot mask on my feet this is what it looks like the instructions say that I need to put it on and then peel off this tab however it's not actually open at the top so I'm guessing do I just rip it open so we'll see situation please excuse the carpet which i haven't hoovered but i've got like these little sock things on so basically i open them up at the top and i just slid them on and then these, these little tabs that you pull across and like you stick across to make sure they're attached it's really weird the inside is this kind of like wet fabric and i don't know it just feels really strange 
but apparently you can walk around in them so yeah they just look like that but um i don't know it just feels weird but we'll see we'll see i've only had them on for like two minutes and i've got to keep them on for a whole hour so yeah so i've now had these on for 70 minutes it says you can keep them on for 60 to 90 minutes so i am gonna take them off now i don't think there'll be any difference so i'll probably have nothing to report back but i'll report to you in a week and see if there is any difference but yeah it says to just wash my feet, feet thoroughly after taking them off so that's what i'm gonna do hey guys just as a quick update my feet do feel really lovely and smooth after removing them and washing them so yeah that is good i guess and then obviously i'll let you know and i've got another thing to trial as well so that'll be in the next clip yeah bye <laughs> Hey guys, so I've decided today to try out the sheet mask that goes over your hair in the shower. So this is it. Sorry about my throat again, can't really be helped. So anyways, this one, um, basically what you have to do is shampoo your hair, then towel dry it, open the hair mask and pop it on like a hat, um, and then massage it into your hair and leave it on for 20 minutes and then you rinse it off with warm water followed by conditioner. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'll try it out now. Okay, so I've towel dried my hair. It is now time to put this on, so we'll see how it goes. It look crazy, but this is what it looks like. It's quite big, so if you had long hair, it would definitely fit on because I've got like loads of excess at the back here. Um, and yeah, you just strap it on and then leave it on for 20 minutes. Okay, I've had it on for 15 minutes. So I'm now going to wash it off with warm water and then condition and I don't know if we'll see immediate results but we'll see. Okay, so I've just taken it off, there's quite a lot of product just in one area so I feel like it's not spread out well but we'll see when I wash it off how my hair feels. I've now washed off and conditioned so I'm about to go and dry my hair and see if there is any results at all. I mean I don't know if it says it'll be immediate or not, I think it said it will last up to like seven days to be fair. Wait let me just have a look, sorry about my appearance but you know. It says the results, smooth, shiny, healthy looks for up to seven days. So, let us see. Okay, so I wouldn't say there's like a huge dramatic difference, but my hair does feel really nice. So that is a good thing. I know it's all styled now, so it looks really ugly, but yeah. So, so far, so good. Hey guys, so I thought it was about time that I just did like a quick update on what I thought about the products that I used with like a week later review on. So basically, for the first one, which was the face mask, I personally loved it because it was like relaxing, it was something fun to do. I can't say it had a huge difference on my face. I think for about two days, my skin did feel really nice and soft, but I wasn't wearing makeup in that time, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it. I wouldn't say I had any drastic changes. My skin did feel soft like after when you do a face mask and you're like, oh, fresh face kind of thing. Um, but that was about it, but I did find it really fun, so yeah i do want to try out some other face mask sheet masks i've heard about like the garnier bomb ones things like that so i might give them a try um in terms of what's the second one again the second one well i don't know what order they're in i'm just going to talk about them anyways so let's just say the feet one was next so um at first i was like this isn't showing any results it'd been about four days and i was like this was pointless it didn't do anything but then literally on like the seventh day like my skin and my feet did start to peel so i was like okay it's actually doing something during this time it did make my feet kind of itchy so it was a bit annoying to be honest um and i noticed that they peeled off more after having a shower um basically though it doesn't because it kind of gives you the impression that your whole skin and your feet is gonna peel off but it doesn't so basically what i found was it kind of um peeled off only in areas that had a lot of dry skin um like in the main area so for me that was like the heel kind of area um but not low like one foot came off more than the other and it wasn't tons and tons but i do think it was helpful and i would maybe try it again to see like the result of me now having like less dead skin i know it sounds disgusting but seeing if it had a big difference to how much it would take off on if you had less i guess um my battery's running out so i'll try to speed this up the hair one i actually think it did work you know i didn't wash my hair in three days and i'm the kind of girl that washed my hair every single day which i know is bad but my hair didn't go greasy and normally my hair goes greasy in like half a day so for me that was just a perk in itself um yeah i thought it was a really good one um i have had better because i've used some really great hair masks but it was all right you know um so 
yeah that is my overall little feedback session and thanks for watching there'll be another clip to say that but yeah bye I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching the video it really does mean a lot I don't really know if this worked or not but yeah subscribe if you're not already because honestly that would be the best thing ever for me like I really really do appreciate it if you do subscribe and if you want to give it a thumbs up you can do it obviously um but you don't have to um and I'll see you in my next video if you want to watch my next video <laughs> bye